Man, 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 man. Here we go again. <laughs> My man John Morant gets caught yet again with another gun. I want to say allegedly so bad, man, but it's on footage. It's video footage. It's video footage. Him and his homeboy in the car. Now, some say that this video was not like it occurred not too long ago. And the video went viral, but I'm looking at Ja Dreads. And his dreads look short unless he just, you know, I don't know. His dreads look short as hell in that video. So I assume that it looked old. Like it's an old video that just resurfaced. You know them videos that resurface? When they try to get somebody caught up again, they try to like whoever, they try to get a video video put back out there. That's what it looked like because the dread looked short. So I said, the video may be up. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I'm looking at this video and um, when I seen it, I saw that this homeboy tried to put the camera down so it wouldn't, you know, catch him, catch the job, like, you know, holding the gun or whatever like that. But when they said uh, that he was listening, they were listening to an NBA uh, young boy, I was like, okay, I mean, that don't mean that it's new just because he listened to NBA young boy. NBA young boy ain't just came out yesterday. He, NBA young boy been around for a minute. But, man, when they were saying the name of the album and everything that he was listening to, I was like, okay, you know, maybe, maybe you know, if uh, that's the case. That maybe this video was, you know, got, you know, recorded not too long ago. Probably like a week or something ago. But you can't be this bored if you job and rent. You can't be this bored to put yourself in the same damn situation that you just left off on. If this video is new, John Morant, I mean, for number one. Okay, you don't care about being the face of the NBA. You like, man, fuck that. So we already got that established that you don't care nothing about that. The Nike deal, man, fuck that. I got my money already with the Nike deal, so I'm cool. You don't care about that either. So this is what you do, you know, to, to show that you don't care. I mean, I know he 22. He 22. He young. You know what I'm saying? All that, but I mean, you can only get so many excuses for your age when you're doing the same shit. Like, at least do some different shit. Do some different crazy shit. Don't do the same crazy shit. But that's when the excuses run out quick to me when I'm seeing a situation that you just went on publicly, sat down with an interview with Jalen Rose and everything. And, you know, you didn't really look like you were sorry in the interview. <laughs> when I seen that Jalen Rose interview, he didn't look like he had any type of compassion about anything he did. He had to look at that eye like, okay, let me just do this just so I can try to clear my name a little bit. So, I'm like, man, damn, I'm like, when I look at y'all doing this, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be the uh, breadwinner right now. He's taking care of his family, you know, families, everything. So, I mean, that's good. That's good. That's good. You got your head straight when it comes to that. But I could just tell, you could just tell when you look at somebody like, okay, like his dad didn't whip his ass. Man. Like, growing up, John Moran dad did not discipline him the way he should have been disciplined. Because ain't no way that you got a Joe Jackson over there. You'll be sitting up there doing some shit like this, especially when your dad's still moving around and looking like he's younger than you. Ain't no way you pulling that off. I don't care how much money you got. You ain't too old for Asma. If you got that Joe Jackson type of approach. I don't want to say Joe Jackson type of approach. When you got that, that good fatherly approach when it comes to, you know, discipline. I mean, I know, I know when you get to a certain age, you can't put the kids no more because they grown or he grown. But, um, at that younger age, when you discipline them the right way, and like, okay, like, you know, you pop their ass when they touch that stove, and you told them not to touch it because it's hot. You let them know between, you know, uh, what to do and what not to do. And if you disobey me, you know, I got to discipline. You know, that's just how the way the old school rules go. That's just, just, just old school rules. That's just the rules. So I, I can see that that rule, them rules didn't apply in the, in the Moran household because ain't no way that this man doing this. And he getting paid like how much? Eight figures? Allegedly? Cause I don't pocket watch this is what I've heard. So 
get it, I get it. You don't make it with some money. You don't make it with some money. But you gotta be a smart young brother. Not a young nigga. A smart young brother with some money. Right? You can have fun. But it ain't gotta be promoted on social media, man. What type of clout do you need as a job of rent when you already got the clout itself because your name is the most searched in the YouTube, on social media, you already got the clout in the way. So, man, what the hell are you doing? What is wrong with you, man? Like, you're my favorite player. But you like a you like a little brother to me. I'm 32, you 22, allegedly. So, like, man, you got to stop this, man. For the Grizzlies to get fed up with you, man. Because you got to remember that you a black man. I don't give a damn how much you may think that you may be doing for the grid, like how much of, uh, of a load you may be thinking that you're toting on your shoulders for the grid. You just another nigga. Come to the point you score, they can find somebody else to do the same thing. Probably not as good as you do, but you know the black man is replaceable in sports. Huh? They just fired Coach Monty Williams. For what? Well, they need to be firing Chris Paul because he's too old. Getting hurt every season. Every damn season you turn around, Chris Paul got a new injury. The same damn time. Y'all don't find that kind of strange? How Chris Paul always continues to get hurt at the same damn time. Every season. You like you making some sort of type of NBA uh, Adam Silver sacrifice. Okay, I did my sacrifice. I pretend like I got hurt. So, you know, you know, I did this for you again. Season after season, Adam. Can I keep my position as the head of the NBA? Um, chair, whatever that is that he doing? Yes, Chris, you can. Oh, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's strange and it's weird how Chris Paul get hurt at the same damn time every damn year. I know these players don't get a certain amount of rest, but Chris, Chris Paul, this shit has been uh, consistently happening season after season. And Draymond seemed like he making his LeBron James sacrifice. He trying to get to the Lakers. I mean, he's doing stupid stuff, and which caused the Warriors, I feel, to lose that series against the Lakers. I said it. And Draymond did that stupid pass. Not the, not the last game that they lost that got put out the series, but the game before that. At the end of that game, I don't know why they inbounded the ball to Draymond in the first place, but when he had, when it was like down one, and he, took, he tried to drive it, but he ended up almost stepping out of bounds, but he kicked it to the middle, and then ended up getting deflected, and um, Lakers ended up getting it, yeah, <clears throat> but John Moran, you know, come back here, nigga. I ain't through with you yet, uh-uh, I ain't through, I ain't through, I don't know if it's the dreads, or that grill you be having in your mouth, but nigga, we, we, we know you that, hey, we know you that guy, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of us that are that guy. I'm one of them. Since they're reality TV, y'all like and subscribe to the channel, baby. Let's go. But, um, <clears throat> you are that guy. We get it. But you got to carry yourself, man, like you've been here before. Ain't nothing more flyer than acting like you've been here before. Knowing how to carry yourself. Still being fly. Still doing your thing. Still shining. Without all the extra shit. Act like you've been here before. Don't be like the regular cliche dude from the hood that just act like he ain't never had none. And then trying to use his excuse like, I ain't never had none. Like what Jay-Z was saying, like, oh, there ain't nothing but an excuse for you to try to do stupid stuff. But you ain't got to do. So why you do it? I can see if you had to do it or try to get on. But you ain't even in that same field, man. You, you in sports. And even if you won, I mean, I still want to understand that because, I mean, I like doing mine my own way. I'm not finna clickbait or none of that to try to get no t certain type of clout or uh, shortcuts. Because if you do it that way, I'm telling you, you're going to crash and burn real quick. But the beauty is in the struggle. If you just, you know, take your time, be patient, and just grind. Keep God first. You're going to get the right way you need to be, and it's going to be longevity within this thing, man. Job, right. You got longevity, and this is NBA, the sports career. You're still young, man. Don't cut it short by just nonsense, and you just, you know, doing extra shit that you don't even got to do. My nigga. And good thing your friend care about you, you know what I'm saying? That's your, I got to be your real dog because he put the camera down. He tried to, just, but he, you know. Camera caught a piece of it though. 
but his hands, I guess, it was just a little too slow. But it still caught. It. But man, I don't know if John Moran watched uh, "Don't Be a Menace" South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. But this is just this is a moment that kind of reflects that. Do we have a problem? Okay. Yeah, what Marlon Wayne said. Diamond Rand, stop. Cut this nonsense out, man. Before the Grizzlies end up getting rid of you. Okay? You're a black man. Like I said, you're not irreplaceable. <laughs> They'll find another black man to put a ball in the basket. <laughs> that, that's going to give them less drama than you. <laughs> Tell you, you're not irreplaceable. So, that's all I wanted to say, y'all. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Sensei Reality TV. Thank y'all for the 8,000. We on our way to 10 racks, baby. 10,000 subs. I love my YouTube family. I love you. And my J. Cole voice. But, um, for real, man. Shout out to, the, to, the, to my new, to my uh, YouTube sub family. Subscriber family, man. Love, man. God is the greatest, man. When you put the work in, this is what you get. You get the results. You get the motherfucking results. Right? So, <laughs> I'm very humble, man. I thank y'all. Since every reality TV, I'll be back to hit y'all in the head with another b -b 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 But y'all stay tuned. Got more heat coming. Whatever that may be. We just have to wait to see. Whatever. So, um, yeah. Live, love, laugh, the military man. Keep God first. Since every reality TV, I'll holler at y'all later. One love. Peace.